Hey folks, today I'm going to show you this D-Link HD Ultra Wide View Wi-Fi camera. Um, it's pretty, I don't know, it's not small, but it's not big either. It's the front of the camera. There are infrared LEDs behind this little glass, well plastic, not glass. Uh, the uh, light sensors at the bottom, the camera lens of course, and then the microphone is that little shiny thing you see at the top. It's a hole. On this side you have the micro SD port. For saving files, I'm going to cover up all my information so nobody tries to connect to my camera. You have the micro USB charging port, the reset button, and the WPS setup button and the status light right above it. And of course the base which can be unscrewed and mounted with the mounting tools, uh, hardware rather, that is supplied. And then you have the charging cable, or power cable rather. And let me try to knock, knock the camera over. The uh, install guide, manual, and a little statement. And then you have your setup card, which um, you will download the Mighty Link Lite app in the Play Store or App Store, Windows Store, whatever. And you can easily scan the QR code on this paper to set up your camera. All right, so I am done installing the camera or setting it up rather. I used the quick install card, downloaded the My D Link Lite app, um, changed the password. I updated the firmware, which it had instructed me to do. And after that, I've actually had to reboot it twice because it locked up on the uh, web browser interface. So there's two ways you can access this. One, you can actually go to the IP address of the camera, where whatever the IP address is that it has set up on your uh, network. And the angle, the viewing angle is crazy. Don't look at all my junk in my living room, but look at it. It's 100 degree, 180 degrees, excuse me, I can't talk this morning. Uh, viewing angle, it's, it's a huge fisheye lens. I mean, if you want to look at each other or look at yourself, <laughs> but it's crazy how wide of a range it has. It really is. Um, so anyway, a little bit about the web browser, um, where, when you go to the uh, web-based page for it, um, you have your live video feed set up maintenance status and help over here to the left you can't pan and zoom because this camera doesn't support it and there's no zoom in and out there's no panning back and forth there's no stopping the panning because it doesn't pan um, at the bottom you have a profile one and profile two I'm not exactly sure that what or what that's for profile two is the same but you can take a snapshot you can take video and you can set the storage folder on your computer and you can choose to stop listening to the audio and if we go up here to setup so load the actual setup page where you can choose the internet connection uh, motion detection settings, network setup, wireless setup, dynamic DNS, um, image setup, audio and video, preset, motion detection, sound detection, mail, so it'll actually email you uh, snapshots whenever it senses uh, motion, FTP server to upload it to a web, uh, web server, snapshot, video clips, SD recording, SD management, Time and date, day, night mode, and log out. And then we're back to the camera. One other way you can access it. D-Link. Uh, uh, the, the website, excuse me. And go into your device and go into live view. This is with signing in to the actual My D-Link site. And this will be good for traveling because you can access it from anywhere. I mean, you could from your uh, camera, to, I mean, your phone too, but if you can't access the phone, you can access it from a computer. This one seems to take a little bit longer to load though. But there you go, same view. 
and down here you have some brightness settings the zoom does not work I think that's how I locked it up a minute ago snapshot Let's load a new page not really loading though here it goes and save snapshot and it will tell me to uh, choose a default location to save it then you have the 480p you can change it to HD auto that's uh, the night view and the day view if I turn it on night view it just starts viewing in night mode it turns on the infrareds and I'll show you those infrareds right there it's got a 16 foot range I believe it is 15 or 16 foot range for the night view but anyways um, simple web camera to set up uh, I really can't say much more about it it's simple it's easy it's dummy proof if you can follow the directions it's dummy proof but anyways there you go i hope you all have a wonderful day and i hope i have helped uh your decision making process in buying this camera